In today's video, we are going to play with the new, but not new because it's original, Urban Decay Naked Palette. I have never owned this palette, so it is new to me. I have heard lots of good things about this palette, and I love Urban Decay Formula. So let's play with it and see how well it performs. Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here. If you're new to my channel, I am a 59-year-old makeup enthusiast whose passion is to help you find your self-worth, be confident, and show yourself some self-love through the power of makeup. So, let's see how much self-love we can show ourselves with this naked palette from Urban Decay. The packaging is very nice. It feels really nice. It's that felt type packaging. But I have four cats and this will end up a cat hair magnet. <laughs> and here's what this beautiful palette looks like. I love those shades. I love the range that it goes from light all the way to dark. I can see where when this palette came out how many years ago? I'm not sure. 2009? 10? I'm going to have to look it up. I will put it across the screen. I can see where this was a very versatile palette at that time. It is so pretty. I am super excited. And of course it comes with the brush. We are going to use the signature Urban Decay brush along with these beautiful shades. But along with that, I also have some brushes. So as you can see, I have already done my face base. Base face. <laughs> I have primed my eyes with my Gerard Cosmetics eye primer. This is in a panning project. I am getting down to it on that. Super exciting. I have had it for so long. I've worn off the shade. I believe that it was light medium, I think. Anyway, I primed my eyes. I have set it. Let's do a look. If you've noticed, I mean, it got, kind of goes along with the theme because this is a this looks like a fall palette to me. Definitely the packaging is kind of fallish. I have done my nails. I am so ready for fall, y'all. <laughs> I am just so ready. I even did my background. You can see my little fall theme I got going on back there. I'm ready for cold weather. I am ready for sweaters and beautiful fall leaves and all the things. This has a nice mirror in it. I never use the mirrors, but I just realize that it folds back, and I love that. That is really nice. So let's take a close-up. I'm sure y'all know what this palette looks like. Everybody is talking about it, and maybe you have the original. Let me know down in the comments if you have the original. So I'm going to start off here with Naked and put that in my crease with the larger end of this brush. The only thing I don't like about these brushes are the fact that they're double-ended because, which I mean I'll probably leave it in the palette, but you can't stand them up because it will mess up the other end. And look at how easy, <laughs> look at how easy that went on. Let's see if I can deepen that up just a little bit. That is so pretty. That is a warm shade, but it's not too warm, if that makes sense. Sometimes, the shade can be just a little bit too warm. And that's really nice. That blended out really nice. 
I think one of the things that I like about the brush is the shape because it's, you know, kind of wide. This one is too. And that just kind of helps you be a little bit more precise on your shadow placement. That's a very nice shade. I like that. So now, there is a little bit of kick up in the pan, but that doesn't bother me. Now I am going to go into Buck right here and use that to deepen that up a little bit. Just kind of in the crease. This brush does feel just a little scratchy. It could be just a titch softer, but I still do like it. I wasn't sure if that was going to be deep enough, but it definitely is. That's a nice shade too. I really like that. Very nice. And now I'm going to get the cat hair off of it. <laughs> and I'm going to pinch it and just run a little bit of what's left. Hello? Underneath my lower lash. Staying on this side of the palette, I think I'm going to go here into Sidecar and put that in my center lid. I am loving this shade right here which is toasted. I really wanted to use that too but I might use that on my lower lash even though that is kind of a satiny shade that I don't care. <laughs> so I'm going to take the other end of the brush. That is one thing about these brushes. They really pick up those shimmers really well. And I'm going to put that right in the center. Look at how pretty that is. That's really, really pretty. The fallout's not terribly bad, but I mean that's to be expected. So pretty. Get a fluffy brush and try to brush away all the flaky, glittery goodness. Of course, if I have glittery cheeks, that doesn't bother me in the least. Using my color switch, I'm going to clean off my brush. And now I'm going to go into Sin, which is the shade here and put that in my inner lid. That's really pretty too. This side of the brush as well is a little scratchy. They almost feel dry, if that makes sense. I really do like them, but it, it really would be nice if they were just a little bit softer. That's so pretty. Alright, let's try one of the rougher brushes, shall we? Let's go into this 15. And I think I'm going to go into this shade here, which is Hustle, and I just want to take that, and that is kind of like a satin. just want to take that and use it to darken up this outer corner.
I believe that I do like that longer handle. And I'm going to pinch that and put just a little bit what's left on the brush in that outer corner. So now I'm going to take this little rougher 03, this little pencil brush, and I'm going to go into Toasted. I want to put that on my lower lash. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just kind of from the middle over to my inner corner. I'm going to get this Ruffer 21, which is a flat brush. And I'm going to go back into Sin, which is the shade that I put in my inner corner. I want to deepen that up a little bit. Or build it, I should say. Not deepen. I don't think I can deepen that. But I can build it. I just want it to be a little bit more intense. Kick up never bothers me. People talk about it all the time, but I'm just like, I mean, it's a powder. Powder's going to kick up. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with the 03. And I'm going to go into Virgin, which is the shade here on the end, and put that in my inner corner, just to lighten that up a little bit. I'm going to pick up the 15 again, just so that I can kind of blend out this area here. And now I'm going to take this number 13 and go into Virgin, that shade that I put in my inner corner. I'm going to get just a little bit of that and put it under my brow just to lighten that a little bit. Very pretty. They tell you not to do this. I'm hard-headed. Typically, if they tell me not to do something, I'm going to be the first one to do it. Very pretty. I really, really like that. Very nice. All right. I'm going to put some brows on. Do my lashes, probably a lip, and then I'll be back. I tight lined with the Fenty Beauty Eyeliner. This is Fly Pencil, and it's in the shade because I'm black. And the reason I'm back <laughs> without my lashes done is because I bought this Ruffer Eyelash Curler. And I have heard wonderful things about it. I'm not real good at using an eyelash curler. So we'll see how this does. So I thought I would come back. An eyelash curler is hard for me to use because of my crinkled, droopy eyelids. An eyelash curler is hard for me to use because my eyelids are droopy and so I end up pinching my skin and that's why I normally don't use them. And this one actually fits the shape of my eye pretty well. Of course, I still have to be careful 
not to pinch my skin because my skin's just droopy and crinkly. So we'll see when I put my mascara on how that did. <laughs> and here is the final look using the original but new <laughs> Naked palette from Urban Decay. And I have to say, I love it. I love it. Now, do I have all of these shades in another palette? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I should have tried to dupe it, but I ain't mad. I am not mad. I love how this turned out. I can tell that this is going to stay on my vanity and I am going to be using it quite a bit. I absolutely love it. Here are the swatches for this palette. There are 12 neutral eyeshadows in ultra smooth mattes, glimmering metallics, shimmers, and velvety satins. The Ulta website says that this is a limited edition palette and that there are limited palettes available. Let's compare to a couple of the other all neutral palettes that I have to see how similar they are. So the first palette that came to mind was the Lorac Pro Meraki palette. And as you can see there are quite a few shades in this palette that are similar. This is a very nice palette and you can pick this palette up for $45. The other palette that came to mind is this Violet Voss Taupe Notch palette. This palette as well is a very nice palette. It also retails for $45 and it does have quite a few very similar shades in it as well. So if you have either the Violet Voss or the Loraki, you probably do not need this palette. However, it does have a lot of kind of golden shades in it. And of course, you may want to pick up the palette just for the nostalgia. Do I recommend this palette? Absolutely. I love the look that I created. And even though I have these two palettes, I ain't mad that I have this one as well. I like that it's small. I mean, there are tons of looks that you can create. And I mean, you just cannot go wrong with a neutral palette. The only thing is it's $59. Or so. I mean, it says that there are limited palettes available. Maybe it won't be as popular and it will go on sale and you can catch it on sale. Either way, I'll have the link down in the description box that is an affiliate link just in case you're interested. If you like these types of neutral looks, then I have this video where I go into depth about how to create a very minimalist makeup look, go check that out. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Okay? Love you. Bye.